youtubers welcome back to my channel so I wanted to invite everyone back for a quick haul that I did over the past few days I've been going to a few thrift stores and a couple of Goodwills and guess what guys I ended up going to a few Goodwill bins I have been researching about eBay resellers and how they source and get their inventory and um, discovered that a lot of resellers thrift at the Goodwill bins. Unfortunately, I live in Milwaukee and the closest bin that was um, entered into my GPS was the Appleton location. So I ended up going to the Appleton location last Saturday and to be honest, I wasn't really excited. I got a few things, but nothing that like excited me and made me say I'm going back there like every week or once a month nothing really excited me um, I'll definitely make my money back I spent about $30 and I got quite a few pounds so I, I think I got about 20 a little bit maybe even a little bit over 20 items a few coats I, I ended up getting a like a wool coat or cashmere 100% cashmere vintage men's coat so I'm going to try to work with what I selected and I'm not um, I have no worries that I'm not going to make my money back I'm definitely going to make my money back but I still didn't you know nothing wowed me and recently just yesterday I ended up going to the Goodwill bins me and my aunt decided to take a trip and we ended up finding a Goodwill bins like 0.3 miles away from our current location and so we went and I was kind of a little more excited um, to have thrifted at that those Goodwill bins. So let me show you a few items that I got from those, from those bins. Nothing too spectacular. You know, you see, I think you get kind of an expectation mode of like you'll find designer items. But me being a thrifter, I know that you're going to have to continue to thrift, going to have to continue to source at those specific locations in order to find, like, the best finds. So, but I did pick up a few items yesterday, and I'm going to go ahead. Why don't I do this? Because it's going to be quite a bit of a lengthy haul, I'm going to just show you some of the items that I picked up throughout my week. Okay, so let's start out with a few Kohan pieces that I found. I ended up finding these Kohan, um, basically slide-in heels. If you can see that a little bit, yeah. And I found these at the Goodwill bins. So my total yesterday was about twenty. $29. The taxes are much higher than Milwaukee, so um, probably about 3 or $4 in tax. So I probably only spent $26, and I bought about 14 pounds worth of clothing. And I'm not sure how many pounds worth of shoes, but I got quite a few pairs, maybe four or five pairs of shoes. So I found these Kohans. I found these lugs. Now these lugs are a little bit, I'm sorry, not lugs. These Uggs, men's slippers. And they're a little bit worn, but I am going to advertise in my listing, you know, the condition of the shoe. And I hope to get maybe, at the least, I hope to get about $20 for these. Um, but I, I hope to get more, but at the least, $20 should be the least that I'll get. And actually, I ended up finding these little baby Uggs for like a little cute junior little girl. And I found these at a Goodwill maybe a few days ago, and these were $4.99. So I found those Uggs, and I ended up finding the Uggs that I've worn, if you watch me on Instagram, I found my Uggs at the Goodwill, and I think I paid $6.99 for them. So Uggs are a pretty big brand, and so for me to find them for $6.99, they're a little warm, but you know, they're Uggs. So you can't really complain for $6.99. I found this Kohan wallet at the thrift store. We ended up going to a thrift store on our way back. It has a little bit of wear on it, but Kohan is a good brand. So this is another Kohan item that I found. I also found 
Now, I'm going to have to do some research on this because I was so excited, guys. I thought I found a Chanel bag. And when I say the knockoff was exquisite, the one thing I can say is that when I was doing my research, it looks like the Chanel bags that I observed were all made in Italy. So this Chanel bag did say made in Paris, but I'm not familiar because I don't, I don't go that high when it comes to brands. The most I've ever, you know, paid for a person is a coach. But I am going to start doing my research. Maybe someone comment below and let me know. But in doing my research, there was no serial number and it stated that it was made in Paris. So those were kind of my red flags that this could possibly be a fake because it had the keychain, everything had Chanel on it. And if someone comes below and says, okay, you just passed up Chanel bag, I'm going to be so mad because it was only $12.99. And this is another item that I found. I don't know if you can read it, but it's basically a Kate Spade bag. And so it has Kate Spade on the hardware. And on the inside, it has the Kate Spade logo in addition to the Kate Spade tag. Now I'm gonna do some investigation because also while I was, because I'm not familiar with Kate Spade. I mean, I'm a little more familiar with Kate Spade than Chanel, but Still, I don't purchase Kate Spade for my own wardrobe, um, and so I'm not familiar with it. So I did. I also saw that some Kate Spade had serial numbers, but there were some that either they weren't advertising them or they didn't have. So I'm gonna have. So I'm probably gonna put this on Instagram and see if some of my fellow Instagrammers can let me know, help me out. It's a pretty hefty bag. I mean, it, it's a heavy. It feels great. It feels real. And so I was even looking for like the um the material um tag and I didn't see that. So that's one thing that did concern me. But I ended up paying $14.99 for this. So it's a case pay bag. And this will be a good resale. I'm just gonna confirm with someone that is actual actually really a case pay bag. Another item that I found at the thrift store yesterday was this cute little Marc Jacobs perfume case. And so it's brand new, and it was, uh, if you could see that, about 90 something dollars, or I'm sorry, $59, I don't know why I said 90, $59 at Marshall's, but the thing is, there is no product inside. So I believe this was like a perfume case, I'll still put it on there, someone still may buy it, um, I'll probably market it at maybe 20, start at 20, and see if I can get about 20 for this. If not, I will reconstruct my prices. Um, but I paid all of $1.99, so it won't be a big loss. I'm sure I'll get that back if nothing else. So I paid $1.99. That was a Marc J Jacobs perfume bag. Um, a few more items. Oh, here is an item that I found at the first set of bins. So that's what I'm saying. It's not. It wasn't a big bus. I found quite a few items, but um, did I find this at? No, I'm sorry. I didn't find this at the first set of bins. I found this when I went to the bins yesterday. And this is, I don't know if you can see it. Well, you can't see it because it is crossed out. But this is basically a brand new pair of Brooks Brothers pants. And so this is a very good brand. It's a 3530 long. Still has a tag. And I found this at the bin. So it was basically cost me change. And so this was a great find for it to be brand new Brooks Brothers. And also today at the thrift store, I ended up finding these vintage Brooks Brothers stripe button-ups. And so I may market these as, this is 16, 30. These are all the same. So I actually found these together when I was thrifting. And so I may market these as a, a lot and I'm going to probably pair them with a nice tie, have my husband tie them. I, I have to start trying to um, learn how to tie a tie. I can't always wait for my husband. I'm, I'm going to ask him to show me today because I I do style my husband a lot. And so he gets a lot of compliments on his outfits. And so I want to kind of take that creativity and enter it into my photos when I'm actually um, listing my products. And I think that will kind of up up my sales a bit um the next few items what i want to show you next um the next item i found was 
this item. And I actually purchased it for resale, but I'm not going to sell it. I actually tried it on and I love it. So this is, I don't know if you can see. Let me tie it up. Tie it up. That'll make it a little bit easier for you to see. It's so cute. And I'm going to definitely try to take a picture when I have it on. It's basically, wait a minute, because I want you to get the full effect. It is basically a red shirt. And I actually thought it was vintage, but guys, it is a Michael Kors. A Michael Kors shirt. And it's really cute on me. So I had purchased it for resale. Did I take the tag off? I guess I took the tag off. Yeah, I took the tag off because I actually have took pictures to list it. But I'm going to be keeping it. And this is this was six ninety nine with half off, so I think I paid three dollars and fifty cents for this. And so this is definitely going to my wardrobe. I love it. I'm definitely trying to up my game. And so today I went to. I got this tip from Dion Dean. She is one of um, the resellers that I subscribe to. I get a lot of great information from her. And I got this tip from Dean Dean. And actually, I've been um, a shopper at Play-Doh's Closet for a while. But I never really paid attention to the, my email alerts. So, got a little tip from Dion Dean that says she gets alerts when they're having their um, clearance sale. And so, today I got an email stating that Play-Doh's was having a 70% off clearance sale. So, I took that time to go and see what i can find because dion was finding a lot of good items and i actually found three good items that's going to you know be great for resale so i found this new with tags d I, i'm i'm gonna butcher it i don't know how to pronounce it diadora but i think that's how it's pronounced and it's brand new with tags and this was eight dollars with 70 percent off so this was a really great find and this is going to resell very well on ebay i also found these brand new with tag american eagle pants men's pants and these were i don't know if you can see it 18 i'm sorry holding the wrong thing these were 18 dollars with 70 percent off so they had they had quite a bit of things to choose from but i have to be more a little more selective with my thrifting items because i'm starting to um get a little bit backed up in inventory and i don't want to be overwhelmed and i don't want to have inventory just sitting and I want it to be, because like I always say, I'm a woman, woman show. So I want it to be actually um, practical for me to list the items that I'm purchasing. And I'm actually today probably going to try to start doing, I'm going to try a few flat lays. I typically do, um, I've been doing mannequins trying to polish my listings. But I'm going to do a few flat lays. I've gotten some ideas online and I want to try a few flat lays today and I've actually started adding a few crops like little um, flowers and um, plants and that's really added quality to my photos so I'm going to play around with a few few props today for my flat lays and see if that adds a little more quality to my flat lays I also found this fossil which this was I was so excited to find this this is a fossil tote and so it's, a, it's basically a medium-sized tote. It's not a large tote. It has a little bit of, and I think actually this is just a stain that I can probably get off, but it just has a small stain, and I'm going to, I'm sure that can be wiped off. And the inside, has been well kept. Just a quick snapshot of the inside. It has the fossil tag inside. And so this was $20 with 70% off. So I paid $6 for this. This is really going to, it has the hardware on the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to sell this or keep it, but I'm probably going to keep uh, sell it because I don't, right now I carry one purse. I don't switch off purses like that. It's, you know, I'm not 
that's not who I am. I used to be like a purse, shoes, everything matched. Um, but I'm just not because I'm always on the go. I don't have time to rearrange every time. So that was six dollars. That was a great find. And so I'm going to show you two more items. But before I show you the last item, I'm going to show you this. And if you recall in my last few videos, I showed you um, a few pairs of sunglasses. I've been just like really having good luck with finding like name brand sunglasses. So if you're a reseller out there and you're watching, don't skip over the sunglasses area because you can find a lot of good jewels in that sunglass area. So I actually found these and I had never heard of these before. So if you're a reseller and you are familiar with these glasses, you'll have a little more insight than I do. I'm trying to get you to see how intricate the details are. But basically these are Viceroy Viceroy sunglasses. And they're very um, these are very very good quality. Like the bend on them is going to be very hard to break. You can tell whoever manufactures these did a good job of researching good quality when it comes to glasses. And I did a um eBay search and when I searched the comp the completions and the sold this is going to be a very good sale. Even I I actually did a Google search to see um to go to the actual Viceroy website, excuse me. And these sunglasses brand new are are um can go from the lower to upper hundreds. Um about I wouldn't say hundreds, to the lower to upper 100, so like 190 I don't think I've seen anyone, any glasses for 200 but I wouldn't be surprised if these did sell because these are, they have, like, if, I don't know if you can see, like, it has very intricate details. Like, it even has the dragon um, logo right there, the logo right here. Um, just very good quality glasses. And they don't have a scratch on them. And so, what I like to do is to keep my glasses a little bit um safe from getting scratched i literally and actually this is a dolce and gabbana glasses case that i found i found a prada glasses case as well and i was going to buy it just for the sake of a, this video but i don't want to just waste money it doesn't the resales for it wasn't worth the asking price that they were asking for in the sale in the thrift store so i just left it there but you can find a lot of good trinkets and things at the goodwill so i typically just keep my glasses in a nice big case so I'm going to be keeping this Dolce because it's a lot nice large case and let me turn it on because I don't want to and so this I, I'm going to keep this in this case until these sell and once these sell I'm going to be if anybody has tips on how where I can get some sunglasses cases because I'm probably going to have to just purchase some um because I think I have maybe three or four pairs of sunglasses that's already listed so I'm probably going to just have to purchase some cheap sunglass cases from the Goodwill without a brand so I can ship them because I don't want them to get um, messed up. That's the one thing you want to be careful about when you're shipping sunglasses um, to customers. Um, you don't want them to get um, broken during the shipment. And the last thing I found, and trust me, I've found so many items. Like I have maybe two large bins um, of inventory that I just did over the past week. And even with that, I can't fit everything in those two bins. So I'm just right now building up my inventory because, as you guys know, I just recently started full-time a few months ago. So it's going to take a while for me to build my inventory up. But I just wanted to show you this one item from one of my favorite stores. So I found this. And the reason why I'm doing it last because there's going to be a part two to this um, to come after this video. But I found this three-piece suit it's a very nice suit it's a older suit but the thing that i like about this i actually used to wear these suits when i was younger um and it's so hard to find a two-piece suit nowadays all suits um well two-piece suits that fits the criteria for what you know what i have to wear um at my church so this is a two-piece suit a nice length skirt and i'm sorry a three-piece suit and it comes with a, a pants set now, when I was younger, um, because we're very strict, very strict, we have very strict dresses, so we can't wear a slit um, when we are 
uh, going to church. So as you can see, this skirt has a slit in, it, in the back of it. I don't know if you can see that, but can you see? Yeah, you can see it has a slit. So when I was younger, I used to buy fabric from the store and I used to make these little pleats to put in the slit. Now, I don't know if I'm going to make a pleat because I'm going to have to use this material. And this isn't the type of material that you just want to um, uh, basically, I don't want to do too much ironing over this material because it can burn. So I'm going to take these pants and make um, um, basically an insert into this slit. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do it into a pleat or just do a regular um, triangular insert. But stay tuned for that because that will be um, the second part of this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. And I definitely will have more hauls to come. But in the meantime, as always, you guys have a good day until next time. Thanks for watching.